that but to cook okra soup but okay on fire is my cow leg and it's, i'm just boiling it so it gets soft and over here is my i don't know which makes it this is it looks like lamb or so i really don't know what it is but it's my husband that did the shop you know me so I, it looks like lamb because i like to buy lamb all the time and then these are our assorted they are all frozen so i'm just soaking them for it to soften before i put it in the pot to cook then this is my fish we usually use titus fish for flavor what is called this fish soup we use titus now yeah and i'm seeing head of the fish here yeah, i'm very surprised because my mother doesn't eat head of fish so doesn't usually put it like when he goes shopping he doesn't put it he just tells them don't put the head but with me i eat head of fish and i always put it so i'm surprised the end is here today so guys <laughs> i'm going to be waiting as i'm waiting for my um meat to be froze so that i can start pap boiling it and um i'll start slicing grating my okra my okra is here this is like my um soup my okra soup this is my okra and i bought ugu this ugu i have to use it today today because it's already getting faded then I don't know if I still have obono. I like to put obono in my okra soup also. I think I should add more obono remaining. And yep, I still have obono. This is a real lot safe. This is not so. I just like to put obono to just make it thicken kind of when I'm cooking. But there are some times I prepare okra soup that I don't put obono. I just put it straight up like that. Uh -huh. But this particular one, they call it. Is this what they call obiopo? If you're a robot, if you know what obiopo is, I don't know if it's robot, Isha. I'm a mixture of both, so those two so confuse me. I don't know if it's Isha or Urobo, but I know they call it obiopo. So, you guys, this is what I'm doing today. I don't know if I should start wasting my okra while my meat, while I wait for my meat to soften. Okay? Let me see if I will start wasting the okra, or if I should just gist with you guys. So while I'm waiting for my food to get ready, I just want to give you guys just about everything that's been happening, life updates and the rest. First of all, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know if it's the new mom thing, like, okay, because I just have a baby and everything. I really don't know what's happening to me, honestly. For instance, now, what just happened? I started this video and I forgot to switch on the lights in the kitchen or the lights, the camera lights. No light was on. I just remembered now and then I switched it on. Like, I don't know where to start from. But just know that, number one, I'm like, I don't know, how is it? I don't I don't even know what is happening to me because I see a lot of people that are giving birth. I have friends that they are also in their twenties and they've given birth and they are back to their feet. They are all back to the way they wear. They are creative. I'm not talking about physical, about your physical body snapping back to your body. I'm talking about the way you wear mentally, creative wise, emotionally, everything. Like they are back to their business, back to their life and the rest. But with me, I'm pushing, like I'm fighting, I'm praying to get back to me. I don't know how to explain it. Like with the things I used to do prior to having my baby, like i used to love youtubing i used to love filming i used to be i am just a creative person i want to start a business i'm a vision yeah i want to start this i want to start that if you if you if you hear me speak most times when i'm talking to people you are always hearing first of my face be like oh my you're always doing one thing or the other what are you doing now what are you up to now you know that used to be me or that i don't believe that's still me you understand but after giving birth i really don't know what happened like i just something just calmed down in me i really don't know what it is so for everything i have to be intentional about it like i have to push i have to do like even with my youtube if you notice like especially this particular youtube channel i've not been uploading like i come out okay i'm ready i'm back to youtube but after a while again I, it's like where do i start from where do i find my feet from again and sometimes like i'm okay i'll come back again it's just been like that with the youtube channel that's our family youtube channel the one i have with my husband that one can that one still functions kind of because my husband is involved in that one so 
he kind of still pushes me like last night he was like let's film and i was like no i don't want to film but he kept insisting and everything so i managed to film you understand but with this one it's just me i'm just always there even my son my son just had his birthday you guys my son's birthday we cooked we did a lot of things it was my husband that would be telling me that babe bring out your camera and film now bring out your camera and vlog now like even if you see the video of that birthday they were just like it was not like professional video like when you have a youtuber in the house you are expecting the video to be all professional most of the videos are just random clips from people's phone that i just collected left right center and that what i used to i just managed to edit it and upload because my husband is like how are we going to do birthday for our son no video no this no that <laughs> like i really don't know what's happening to me even even the birthday preparation we made an we made um, pepper soup, we made egusi soup, we made jollof rice, we did puff puff, we did plenty of which we went shopping, bought ice cream, bought a lot of things. In all of all those things, I did not vlog. I didn't vlog the preparation of the food. Nothing. My husband was like, so when you were cooking, because my friends came to assist me, they were like, so you did not vlog, you didn't film it. I said, I love you. <laughs> I used to be the person that we carry camera. Like, I would literally be the one to hold the camera. I'm like, yeah, hey, this. Uh, I don't just know what happened. Like, I don't know. If you're in your 20s, you've had a baby. Is this common? Is this normal? Is this how it is? Because I'm, I, I'm honestly trying. I, I am honestly trying to get back to me, to get back to Eugenia, to get back to myself. But I am praying. I'm praying and really trying. Honestly, I'm really trying even in terms of my career too i'm also just trying my best like i'm just trying my best like huh? i officially started work this year that's after one year of not working you know we came to the uk i came pregnant after having my baby i did not work so i i, I don't know if that was also because i was sitting at home maybe i had sat at home for too long just taking care of a baby i don't know if that was it so I started working this March, I started working last month, officially February. Well, the work is not like it's an everyday work. Like this week now, I only go to work on Friday. So it's just once a week. There are some weeks that is twice though. And uh -huh. so it's just been like that. You guys, I'm just pouring out my heart to you people. Like I'm just pouring my heart to you guys. Like I don't really know. I'm, I'm just trying. And another thing too is I don't even know what kind of content I want to even do at this point. I don't know the kind of content I want to do. I don't know if because right now I'm not baking so much. I'm not baking so much because I'm currently doing my master's still and I'm in a new country and I have a baby and baking can really be a lot. So I don't want to add too many things on me this period. So I just told everybody that contacts me for a cake that I'm currently taking a break from baking. So I'm not baking and I know this channel is more of baking and just ten percent lifestyle but 70% or 80% baking so I didn't know what also to also do so this is also where I, I drop this to you guys also what will you guys appreciate on this channel I don't bake but I cook I'm not the best of cook but I did try okay so I cook a lot too I cook own meals for my family and everything I'm always in this kitchen cooking almost every almost every week I cook something Okay, if it's not stew, it's soup, it's this, but I'm cooking something like today and I'm cooking okra soup and my husband will be back from work soon, so I have to, I just want to give him something when he comes back. So, that's my gist. So, I don't know, what would you guys want to see on this channel right now, considering the fact that I'm not baking right now, but I still have some knowledge, some mental knowledge I could still talk about. But I don't really know what you want on this channel. Would you prefer I just do lifestyle vlogging, like life of a mom in the uk in the diaspora or what exactly would what kind of content would you love to see what angle do you want because i know people do stuff like that like lifestyle vlogging all this life of it is a day in my life episode one episode two all this kind of stuff do you like something like that do people do all this uk living canada living living in the diaspora episode one episode two would you want something like that or so life of a new mom and the rest would you want to see my routine how i take care of my baby because i'm alone right now although my the first six months i was alone then my mom came and then she has gone now so i'm back to doing alone just me and my husband 
taking care of our baby so would you want to see our life would you want to see vlog although i have a youtube channel with my husband but we don't really vlog so much on that channel so would you want to see my personal life from my own perspective like how i'm handling it as a young mom in my 20s would you want to see content like that if i if you want to see content like that or anything just give me suggestion of what you would love to see the type of content you would love to see and i'll also see if i can do something like that like i said i'm trying to push myself and i see you guys are also trying to push me too because i see some comments on my instagram dm where are you stuff like that and the rest will miss you come back and the rest so thank you also and um just let me know just let me know the kind of content you would love to see on this youtube channel okay so let me check my meat i think my meat will be soft by now so for, for my um cowlick because it's cowlick i don't spice my cowlick i just let it cook and cook and cook and cook till it gets really soft and um for my this one nice okay this one is already has already diffused then for my fish fish you don't need to boil fish i just want to clean it up so i'm not gonna, i'm not going to put it in like boil the fish i'm just going to clean it up that's all i'm doing basically i also appreciate everybody that stood by me that even with my level of inconsistency come today not come tomorrow but you people are still are still watching my videos i really appreciate and i don't take people for granted <laughs> god bless you please keep watching because Sometimes it's those views that also keep me motivated when I come and I upload the video and I see like 200 views, 300 views, 500 views. It really keeps me motivated also. So thank you to the few persons that are watching, that are still watching my videos. I appreciate. <laughs> life eh, it can be boring honestly it can be very 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 boring so <laughs> when your spouse come back you're like yeah and also somebody there'll be somebody to hold Graham also because when it's her work it's just me and Graham nobody no nanny so I'm the cook and the nanny and the this and the that do you know I've not had my bath this morning like I woke up like it's just it's just secret today it's till my husband comes back that when I have the time to bathe or when he's washing his ration or when he's sleeping that when I quickly bathe, eat, cook <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that when I quickly do all those stuff see, life of a mother I cut cap for mothers, for moms how they be doing it especially people in the diaspora because if you are in Nigeria you have people to help you hold your child you. when I was in Nigeria I had a cleaner I had this, I had that, you know. So, but even in my parents' house, growing up, we always had a cleaner, we always had house we always had, you know, people around. But life in the diaspora is not like that. So, but we will we, blend in, we will blend in. We have come, we have come, so we'll find a way to blend in. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just waiting for my water to get boiled so that I have my pando. This is the pando we got. Nigeria says pando. This is the one we're using, but it just finished now. We're using this one. Oh, we're using this. this one has finished. So when we use this, this was the first time I'm trying this particular pando. I'll go contact where 
I hope so. In my heart, we don't eat Gary. We only eat Pando or Amala. That's what we eat. So, anytime you see me cooking, doing all this rich, rich, Pando or Amala, add the before we make Gary or Eva. Okay? Let's show you my vlog. Fridge. Fridge? 